Hey guys, 13 Tada here, and I'm going to show you how to make the 3D Perler Bead Dice. Um, you guys might have not recognized this one. I made this today, hoping it was going to be used for the video. But I had forgotten a piece, but it's all fixed now. Don't worry. But I'm going to make um, red with like a turquoise um, dots for the numbers. So I'm going to make the six of them, and then I'll show you, or the six sides, and then I'll show you a close up on all of them. Okay, so here's the first piece. There we go, that's easier for you to see. There's a the second piece. The third piece. The fourth. Fifth. And sixth. So now I'm going to iron them and put them together. Okay, and before you iron, if you guys are little kids that are ironing, have your parents do it. Do not do it by yourselves. Um, and make sure you use this ironing paper uh, on, put and putting it on top of it. Um, I'm older, and I've been doing this ever since I was nine. And I've burned myself plenty of times doing it by myself. So if you guys aren't comfor comfortable with an iron, I know your parents are, so just have one of them do it. But um, today, I'm going to do it because my mom's not home right now. I'm so scared. It's okay. I can do it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to iron them. Make sure you little kids are very, very careful if you are doing this. And you're going to iron them just to where um, they're like just sticking together, but to where they won't easily snap off. Okay, so I have one side ironed. And I'm going to iron the second side just a little bit so that they don't fall apart very easily. So now i got my pieces laid out and I'm going to show you how to put them together. Okay, so now we're going to put the two pieces together. As you can see, I've already like put the two pieces where they would be on an actual dice. This is one is right here and two is here. So now I'm going to take apart the pieces and lay them down. This is how one is going to be. It's going to be like this, and two is going to be like this, and you're going to put them together just like this. I ironed them a little too much, so they're not going in very well. Okay, so we got one and two. So now on... on top up here is going to be three so it's going to be this one right here and we're going to put it on top just like that so we got yep I am this a little too much pieces don't really want to go in with each other. So the three is on the top one, two, and three. So now on two, two here we're going to put five. And so five is the same way all the way around so we're just going to stick it on there. It's the easiest one because five you don't have to worry about what way it goes on. And now, right here, we're going to put four. And four 
is going to go just like that. So let's put on the fourth one. This is going to be difficult to put on the last one because these are very hard to get inside each other. And I'm a little too much. Okay. Now, we're going to put number six on. And six is going to go on like this. So actually, I didn't really iron six that much, so it'll actually be pretty easy to put on. I got lucky. I always have to push the, the ones that are coming out in. Sorry, you guys can't really see the dice, but there is the finished product. Looks just like a dice. Um, I will now iron the other side so that it stick stays together better. So now I'm just ironing the sides of um, the dice to really fuse it together and make sure that it won't break because I used to have like a black and white one like an, what an actual dice would look like and it broke because I didn't do this after I put them all together. So yeah, lesson learned on my part. And sorry if it's like really wobbly or it doesn't look at the main form of everything. I'm kind of not looking at the camera while I'm doing this. And I'm also, I'll give you guys a sneak peek about on what I'm going to be creating or ironing after this because I don't just have a dice I need to iron. I have a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is really hot right now. Um, so, I'm going to let that dry right over there. And so, now I got seven! Oh, I'm so excited! So, I'm guys going to give you a little tour of what I need to iron. I need to iron the other side of this puppy. I iron both sides of everything. And I got to get, I got Huey, Dewey, and Louie that I made. Another one over here. And then a dinosaur that's over here that's a little upside down. So yeah. I'll be ironing those. And yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hopefully this kind of helped. Um, I know the colors, this looks like a blue, like if you're like in the light right there. But it's not. It's like a tealish color. Um, so hopefully this helped you. Um, Check out the Perler Bead website if it didn't. Um, they show you a little diagram. Diagrams might be easier for you guys to see. But hopefully, um, even if you guys couldn't figure out how to put them together, at least you got the pieces down and maybe you can figure it out on your own. Look at a regular dice and you'll find out that like one's here, two's there, three. And that makes it easier too. That's how I did it because I um, saw my friend had one and she had ironed hers all the way around. I couldn't tell. So I just took regular dice and looked at it. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'm hoping this is helpful for you guys. Um, if you guys want me to make any other tech color dice, just let me know and I'll make them. I actually haven't made dice in a long time. These are the first two I've made in probably a year or two. So those are kind of old. So, any new ones? I might make a glow in the dark one and then show you guys what it looks like in the dark. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.